Today we're going to discuss disassembly and reassembly of the EOS 15C25 piston pump. To complete disassembly and reassembly, you'll need two crescent wrenches, a 5mm socket, a 5mm Allen wrench, various pliers, and a pick for removing O-rings. Begin the disassembly process by opening the door and removing the cotter pin. Remove three screws at the bottom of the pump with the 5mm Allen wrench. Turn the fluid section counterclockwise and lift to remove the fluid section. On the top of the pump, again use your 5mm Allen wrench to take the three screws off the top cover. Remove three bolts on top of the cover assembly under the black cover. You can then remove the cover assembly Remove the O-ring from underneath the cover assembly. With vice grips or pliers and a crescent wrench, loosen the valve nut. A four millimeter wrench will also work in place of pliers. Remove the exhaust grid. Once the exhaust grid is off, you can then remove the outside cover of the pump. Using a 5mm socket, remove four bolts from the underside. Remove all four control rods. Using the pick, remove the O-ring from the inside of the pump body. If you push up on the seal holder, it will come out.
you can remove the cylinder housing from the pump, slide off the cylinder, and you will have the piston. You can then remove the O-ring from the air piston cylinder. Remove the nut, springs, and rod from the air piston cylinder. Once you take off the nut, the spring and rod will come out. Back at the pump, remove the cylinder seal with your pick. Place the fluid section in a vise and loosen the bottom with a crescent wrench. Pushing down, you can then remove the piston from the fluid section. Remove the white plastic holder and ball from the seat. Using the vise again, you can flip the fluid section over and put the top in the vise. And again, using a crescent wrench, you can remove the fluid section cylinder. From the top of the fluid section, you can now push out the packing nut. Remove the O-rings from the fluid section cylinder. Remove the top of the piston with a five millimeter Allen wrench. Be sure not to lose the ball as the top of the piston comes off. Begin the reassembly process of the EOS 15C25. Use the cartridge assembly tool to seat cartridge. For this, you're going to want to tighten the vise slowly to be sure that it's seated properly. Be sure to grease the O-ring. Put it back inside the top of the fluid section. and squeeze slowly in the vise.
once you've done that, you can remove the installation tool and the packing is installed. Use Loctite 577 on piston threads before reassembly. Seat the ball and screw the end of the piston onto the rod. Using the plastic white tool included in the servicing kit, grease the end of the piston and push it through the fluid section. You can then remove the plastic tool that comes with the servicing kit. And fully install the rod into the fluid section. Again, grease the O-rings and threads on the cylinder and then slide down over the piston and hand tighten. Reinsert the ball in plastic white holder. Again, grease the O-ring and threads on the bottom of the cylinder before you install the bottom seat. With the fluid section in a vise, use a crescent wrench to tighten first the pump foot then turn over the fluid section and tighten onto the top of the fluid section. Now we're going to reassemble the air motor. Insert two springs on the control rod assembly. Slide them into the air motor piston. And reattach nut. and tighten with a crescent wrench. Take your completed air motor piston and insert and grease o-ring on the top. If you grease it before assembly, it's a little bit easier. Grease the lower portion of the piston 
and reinsert into the pump. Next, install the air motor cylinder on top of the air motor piston. Grease and install the seal holder. Next, grease the O-rings and install the tie rods. Grease and install O-ring. And then place the outlet flange on top of the tie rods. Reinstall and tighten the four bolts on the bottom of the outlet flange. Tighten the valve with needle nose pliers and a crescent wrench. Remember a four millimeter wrench would work here as well. Grease and install O-ring on the reversing body. Reinsert and tighten screws. The cut on the cover lines up.
slide on the cover. Reinstall the exhaust grid. Reinstall the air motor lid. Line up the fluid section and turn clockwise, then tighten four screws. Line up the piston rod with the hole and insert the cotter pin. Close the covers on the pump. And that's it. Assembly and disassembly of the EOS 15C25 from Kremlin Rexon.